the chase qualifier is next up uh, there's nine in this one 2006 furlongs again 0 to 110 uh, let's take a look at the list at the top we've got October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck the Thinker and Capably Dangerous both of Martin Lidham Orchard Sound Lady for Matt Cooper Violet Snow Whitey Alex Cherry Roller 6 Greg Beckwith Velvet Diamond Graham Clutterbuck Andre the Giant, Matt Cooper, and Ipanema de Moore. Or Alex Cherry, a field of nine. In this, probably as lower rated as the Stoners Order series gets this 0 to 110. And away they go. In the October Bay. Leading them over the first, which they're all safely over without mishap. And 13 more to take, 14 in all. In this and October Bay is the leader. The rest of them are very tight. They're virtually all in the line, with the exception of the back marker, Orchard Stand Lady, and that one is now almost in line with the rest as well as they get over the second. So they're all safely over as we pass a few race guys giving us a wave. And October Bay is clearing the lead by about two lengths or so. As they come past the big screen, past the winning post, and probably a couple of circuits to go. In October Bay. Two lengths to the good for Roller Six in second, and the Thinker is third, and then Ipanema de Moor in the blue cap after that one. And two Matt Cooper horses are both running wide on the track. The grey is Orchard Town Lady, the other one is Andre the Giant. Back market one is just a bet. Capably dangerous, this purple and white stripes. But it's October Bay who's got the lead, heading down towards the next. Over it they go, all oh, safely over that one. With the leader three lengths clear of roller six on the run as they get over the next old roller six went right into the top of that one made a bit of a mistake got away with it though and seemed to suffer too much as they race into the final two miles with october bay there and october bay that time made a mistake so too did cobra be dangerous at the back so we can to see why some of these are rated as low as they are October Bay he's in front from Roller 6 the Thinker and Andre the Giant Ipanema de Moor just behind them in 5th in Velvet Diamond the Grey Orchard's Town Lady Cambridge Dangerous on the rail and finally Violet's No Weighty the second Alex Cherry colours, colours the one in the Orange cap as they take the ditch. So they will get all they don't. And an Orchard Town Lady looked like he, she jumped it okay, but landed a little bit skew whiff. And the jockey went out the side door. So we've lost the first one. And that was the great Orchard Town Lady. And it's October Bay who's in the lead as they get over the seventh. This time they do all get over okay. October Bay in the lead then from the Thinker in second. If Anima the more third, then Andre the Giant closest to us. And capably dangerous got up the inside of Roller 6 with Velvet Diamond and finally Violet Snow White who's about 8 lengths off the leader as they get over number 8 as they're all safely over OK heading up the straight again past the big screen past the winning post and then out for one more circuit of the track October Bay with an undisputed lead, lead all the way nothing really got within 3 or 4 lengths of it so far Roller 6 is 2nd, the Thinker and Capably Dangerous the 3rd and 4th, then Ipanema de Mort, Andre the Giant, Velvet's, no, Violet's No Weighty and Velvet Diamond. Just the back marker, so Grand Clisbock at his two different sets of silk, his top and tail in the field. October Bay, or two lengths, to Roller 6, McCraig Brick within 2nd. Over the ninth they go, they will drop that really well, and now there's no more than 6 lengths between a lot of them. As the race really begins to hot up, seven furlongs to go over the tenth. They go to fall at the back, there. the thinker's gone. A crashing fall for the thinker. Sees that one out of it. We fall to jump. And October Bay is in the lead from Roller 6 in second. Nipponema de Moore is third. Over the fourth last, they go. Really good jump on the inside by Capably Dangerous, but got nowhere to go. That one boxed in on the inside. October Bay is in front. Five furlongs to go. Three fences to take. October Bay, Roller 6. Violet's no waiting. Capably Dangerous boxed in. Nipponema de Moore. Then a gap to Andre the Giant. And finally, Velvet Diamond as they take this 
Swinging turn, then there is October Bay who's still in front from Roller Six and Violet's no way to gave me name, which is going to need a split. Then comes Ipanema de Mall, Andre the Giant, and Velvet Diamond, you wouldn't rule any of these out yet as they race towards the final three fences then now, and over this final ditch they go, and the leader October Bay is still two to three lengths clear of Ipanema de Mall, who's moved into second then on comes Andre the Giant closest to us, Velvet Diamond is after that one, Violet's no weight, he's trying to run on as well, they come down towards the final two there's only two further to go, this is the second last over it they go, and the leader is still October Bay from Ipanema de Mall, Andre the Giant closest to us, then Velvet Diamond, Roller Six Capri Davis, all in with chances still as they come down towards the final fence then now and it's Ipanema the more being pressed by Andre the Giant Andre the Giant takes it up over the final fence Andre the Giant lands in the lead there's half a foot on the go and it's Andre the Giant who's clear in front being chased by Violet Diamond and Violet Roller 6 but it's going to be Andre the Giant who's going to take it up towards the line Andre the Giant wins it from Velvet Diamond Violet's no way to Roller 6 came in and just come about for that one and Andre the Giant for Matt, 5th place, Cooper, not 5th today. Uh, takes that one pretty comfortably in the end. And the bottom one's taking advantage of the opportunity to take a win. At the start as orders qualifiers. Andre the Giant, the winner for Matt Cooper. Mil Velvet Diamond, 2nd for Grand Quartable. Violet's no weighty Alex Cherry, 3rd. Roller, 6th. Or Craig Beckwith was 4th. And Cable Dangerous was fifth.